eyes are closed and in the stage one passive stage with knowledge knowledge means intellect intellect means awareness of understanding so you see that is why it is a passive state so the place position and posture so the place you are aware of the place where your body is sitting now you see what is the problem ignorance is here but we take it but we take it for granted what is the ignorance the real self is all pervading i'm just infusing that understanding real self is all pervading so when i say sitting or place the place refers to the body not to the real self and that is what happens in meditation that we drop in meditation we are able to drop this ignorance or you can say projection that i am in this place that is where we are trying to move and then we make it very clear the position of the body so position of the body being comfortable and then we become aware of the posture posture obviously posture also refers to the body refers to the body but uh, then what we want the body should be in the state of sensation comfort and steadiness why we want that so that the mind cannot start wandering outside it can wander outside only through the body that we will understand slowly uh, body is the servant of the mind body is the servant do you see me yes i see your image in my mind image in my mind so who who first perceived the image oh my eyes with the mind you see so the mind has gone outside through the body ah we will leave it there we are just and then then we will go to being comfortable moving the mind on the entire body from the neck joint so you look at the neck joint outside you look inside you look at the shoulder joints i uh, look at the shoulder joints outside and then inside uh, slowly slowly and gently with awareness uh, we we move 
the mind on the neck joint outside and then inside shoulder joints outside and then inside spine outside then inside elbows wrist outside and then inside etc and the hip joint outside and inside the entire body and now experience experience sensation comfort and steadiness check again sensation comfort and steadiness In that state, it is easy to look at the space inside the forehead. I look at the space or emptiness and still while looking, I could uh, experience some thought, feeling and projections passes through the mind and behind there is a space. That is what we are saying. It has to do nothing. I'm aware of the space and I'm aware of the thoughts, feeling and sensations. Simple. So why we do like this? I want to see, I'm very clear, the birds flying in the sky is separate from the sky and the sky is all pervading. Can I be aware that thought is there behind every thought, feeling and sensation? The space has to be there to recognize Is it possible? Yes, it is. And that is the beginning of a witness consciousness. Beginning of a witness consciousness. What is that witness consciousness? Simple definition of that I'm aware of the seer and the seen, knower and the known. What is known all experiences of the mind and what is the knower is pretty deeper. It may be the mind sometime, it may be the higher consciousness. what we are looking for. Yes, we are looking for a real self. Where is the real self? Behind, behind the six neighbors. Oh yes. So again, we need that witness consciousness. Otherwise, the mind due to mind, mind due to the impurity, will identify, will mix up, will mix up knower and the known. You know, the Patanjali simply says it is because 
of identification mixture between the knower and the known is the is causing the suffering. So our deeper journey uh, will take place once we have a clear understanding. So the world outside and me. means that you can see the first neighbor and I am. So the more we, more we understand the neighbor one, what is that neighbor one, the word, what is it? time, location, and objects. I am aware, or I can be aware of all. You see that? So, means what? Oh, the word lives in the mind. I am not Simple. Uh, so, neighbor second and I am. So, here I am is the knower or seer. So, who is the second neighbor? The body, the physical body. And I am. Eyes and I am. Do you see? Eyes and I am. In, in our uh, one master, just uh, see that. Does the mind take you there? One master says, how it says, it says, uh, let your eyes see the eyes. That means I'm aware of the eyes. And that awareness simply means the knower of the eyes. Is very interesting. Teacher, a couple of years ago, he has. So, Joe, just see uh, my tongue is sitting in the tongue. So, physical tongue, I'm aware of it. And I'm now, there I recognize the taste buds. Oh, all the taste and all the pleasure and the pain comes from there. Sitting inside the ears, faculty of hearing and the physical eye. So I become the knower. Second, so just awareness of the body. We will go deeper from that point. So awareness of the now we move to the third neighbor that is our energy energy body we discussed about the hunger and thirst all kind of sensations and the wisdom caused in this body. Tingling, numbness, heaviness, 
lightness, etc., etc. So just experience that. That is our I am and I am and the energy body, the neighbor for mind and I am. So how we recognize the self, that is what we have been doing. Recognize the knower is separate from all thoughts, feeling, and emotions, and all experiences. We have the neighbor number five, intellect and I thought. That is false I am and the real I am is awareness. I'm separating the two. And the neighbor number six is ignorance, or we can say causal body. Oh, causal body, yes. What it says, I don't know. I don't know, it says. What we are searching, it does not know, is ignorance. But yes, the knower is there. Knower is there in saying, I know, I do not know. Oh. That is the point of awareness, where and behind that we have been saying there is a real self. And that real self is pointed by, by many Shanti mantras, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina. So just an awareness behind and beyond the six neighbors. Just we 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 look into that Sarve Bhavan to Sukhina. May there be happiness for all. May there be happiness for all. For all, yes, the water is there behind all the waves in an ocean. Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Santu Niram. May there be a state of well being for all. And the state of well being for all, it is a common factor. It is one in all. So, is there a possibility that one thing is pervading all the living beings? Yes. What is that? That is the real self. Sarve bhadrani pashyantu Sarve bhadrani pashyantu Sarve bhadrani pashyantu So let everyone be blessed by that happiness, that well-being which we have just reflected and that is known as the real self in the existence. Oh, Ma Kashchid Dukkha 
भाग भवे मा कश्चित दुख भाग भवे मा कश्चित दुख भाग भवे let none suffer from misery in the world so we ask the intellect to recognize all miseries and suffering belongs to these six neighbors that is why we say ignorance impurity rejection etc 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 so it means in the next step i will not be carried away dictated by these six neighbors so i hold the mala in my hand in the beginning we go by physical so body mind energy all go together and then place any place shiva place inside my heart or head in front of me or the back of me you are just experiencing the presence of the shiva mantra is om namah shivaya but you do it with awareness and uh gently but yes loudly Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Oh, 
After every mantra, you just inhale so that there is an automatic pause. Om Namaha Shivaya. Om Namaha Shivaya. Om Namaha. Shivaya, just check after every mantra, do you inhale, so it will become a pause. Om Namaha Shivaya, Om Namaha Shivaya, Om Namaha Shivaya. Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Shivaya, 
Shiva 
Again, but inhalation, you say Om Namah Shivaya, and exhalation, you say Om Namah Shivaya. So it means one bead you move with inhalation, Om Namah Shivaya, and while exhaling, again on the second bead, Om Namah Shivaya. Continue with silently we do it. So again, because we are regulating with the breath, so it becomes clear that 12 breath, 24 mantra, We are inhaling, looking the image of the Shiva and saying Om Namah Shiva. You are exhaling, you are saying Om Namah Shiva mentally. Yes, it's a little bit deeper, Brad. We are not doing in a hurry.
but we are using the mala. So we are engraving all the six neighbors. is little deeper, deeper inhalation, deeper exhalation. Sometimes the mind will definitely make a mistake and that is where the impurity of the mind lies. We recognize, but we don't get upset. It's okay. It's a part of the journey. Reason of the Shiva uncreated. Shiva is uncreated, unborn. So we keep our thought, Shiva is uncreated, unborn, or all pervading. So we can see the image of the Shiva in front of us, inside of our heart, or the head at the back, what, wherever. But we have a vision with Om Namah Shivaya during inhalation and also during exhalation.
complete you can leave it I'm just giving and once you complete you can leave the mala and then you are totally free your mind is totally free at this level of mental maturity so you can say um, recognize the Shiva Namaha Shiva can change your slang so that you can see the image in front or in the heart wherever you can
So with that ornament, Shiva, it is always a good idea, and that will hasten accelerate the process, that wherever you are, you wake up in the morning, Om Namah Shiva, you are doing some activities mentally, and whatever the action you are doing, so let the Om Namah Shivaya in your mind should be there with the vision and maze. Goal. We want to see if the mind continues to remember and does not forget. And the same thing applies here, how many times we forget. We are not taking the health of the breath, we are not taking the health of the body, just mind is working on the mind, with the intellect, with the knowledge, with the awareness.
and as we understood, 